bitch. Unmute yourself, nigga. They got a lot Tell of me up, nigga. Turn me up, bro. How you been? I've been good, man. How you been? I've been all right, man. Holding it down, staring out the way, hit, trying to heal my soul. Um, we gonna start it. I'm gonna start it off like this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start it off like this by saying I miss you, and I hope shit. I hope you've been standing on business, bitch. I hope you've been going hard in the studio. So look, we got we got a lot of people that's on here who probably don't know too much about you, but I know they know who you is. You know who I am. No rich you. I want you to um. Tell me about some um tell me about the new tape you finna release. Tell me about some music that you excited to get out. Yeah. See you now, you know, I've been recording for a minute, so my shit really been done. Jason to tell you, we really been holding on some shit for a minute, so you know. I'm saying you ain't got your little brother on that bitch. I ain't seen a feature come my way yet. Man, you already know we got hey Jason, tell the niggas that plan, man. <laughs> Yes. Rich, where you originally where you origin originally from, bro? My parents are from Haiti and I'm from New York. Queens, New York. Linda Boulevard. What it was like growing up inside New York. Shit. Crazy. I loved it though, you know. Being outside, you know, playing, you know, regular kid shit. You know, riding, you know. Hey, on your come up, on your yeah. come up. You know, on your come up, like what it was like just trying to get to the point that you at now in life. Shit, on my come up, shit, I ain't really know what I was doing. You know what I'm saying? So I was just like freestyling and doing anything to, to to get to where I think I was going. You feel? Me? So, what was the first label that you you know you came in contact with? I feel like I know this. I know this answer, but you know a lot. Of people, a lot of yeah, it was, yeah, it was QC. I, I was damn well. Well, first the Migos had signed with QC, and, and um, when they went over to QC, damn, I ain't go over there with them. Like they went to go meet P and shit, and I stayed at the crib. And then a couple of days later, P called me like, "Yo, I want to sign you and shit." Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I was like, "Shit!" I was like, "Shit!" I was like, "I gotta be able to bring my engineer with me." And shit, I need that bag. All right, tell me this. Was it any time like that you just wanted to stop doing this shit or like did you ever get like yeah, yeah. so plenty of time I was just telling my man the other day it was like it used especially like it used to be it used to be way more fun bro I remember when we they used to be on SoundCloud just uploading some shit you would put some shit on SoundCloud and be playing all over the world by the next day you feel me Nah, for sure. I really, I really, a lot of don't you miss it? <laughs> SoundCloud was a lot of people gateway to this shit. Nah, for sure. I yeah. remember, I remember the first time then we had spoke. I had called you, DM DJ Darrell was playing your video. Shout out to DJ Darrell was playing your video. World Star, some shit was hard. I was, hey, I you what? Hey, you know what shit? Hey. I was in New York when I called you. Yeah. Before I was who I was, now nah, you did bless me with a feature. Like, as a, you know, at the start of my career. I know you remember. You had told me about that shit not too long ago. I was like, well, I pulled that shit up. I ain't remember that shit. It's crazy. And now that you reminded me of that shit, you know, after all that we did do, I owe you, bitch. Don't forget it. I owe you. For <laughs> I say, look, bro, um, at this point now in your life, mm -hmm. do you feel like you had your ups and downs? Are you ever feeling like just this shit ain't it or it ain't working out? Shit, you know, right now I just been going through this label shit. You know, you know, I just signed with RCA and shit. So the whole technical shit, like for like the last year, and shit, I ain't been able to drop music. So that's been frustrating. You know what I'm saying? But you know, we dropping back to back. We used to dropping all the time. So I ain't really been able to drop. So I've been wow. frustrated. Like why you ain't been able to drop? Cause I was leaving, I was leaving one label, going to another one. So in the meantime, while you, you know what I'm saying, negotiating that paperwork or you know, doing all that shit, and it's just, it's just you gotta wait on it. You feel me? 
I don't mind, you know, I'm that type of nigga. I don't give a fuck about no paperwork. Hey, if it if it go that way, you just gotta sue me. You ain't finna stop me from doing what I love. Hey, you ain't finna stop me from doing what I love. Hey, we gonna get it how we live. Bitch, take me to court. Let's do it. I'ma walk in that bitch fresher than the mother. Believe it. Oh, here we go. Hey, check this out. Check this out now. Mm -hmm. I wanna ask you about the famous picture. About the famous picture. Wait. They, they had somebody in there that, that really don't like me, I guess. Uh, however, the world painted, I don't take shit personal. I ain't worried about nobody. I, I want to ask you about the famous picture with the guy who supposedly don't like the slime. I want you to tell me about that. Well, shit, you know, that was my my performance. You know, we spoke on our cars, you know what I'm saying, after that. But, you know, I want to I wanna just be on some. Stop the violence, shit. You feel what I'm saying? I wanna be on some tip like that, just For right sure. now. You feel me? You know, on some shit. But if we if, if we want on some shit right now in front of everybody, As, for sure. I'll, check this out, As your little brother. As your little brother, I had this. Exp I had to explain this to another person who I got into it with. You hear me? I really wasn't supposed to do it, but I really was supposed to wait till I got in his face and then press him and let him know, a hey, bitch, nigga. Yeah, man, I see how you played this situation. And I just told my daddy that damn near like two hours ago, I said, you know what? I wasn't supposed to do that. Yeah, man, I was supposed to wait till I got in his face and then press him up and let it be whatever it was going to be at that moment. Hey, I'm going to ask you like this. So, you know, as your little brother, I never ask you for the beef with nobody or diss nobody or ever just get out your element with nobody, you know, because that ain't that ain't true. And if, if this was on top of my heart at the moment, you know, I could do that for myself. I'm a hundred, I could hundred percent, you know, get that done myself, however it is. Um, you said that was for your show. I'm saying as your little brother, as your little brother, you ain't you ain't feel like you just call me. You you ain't feel like you would just cancel it or call me and and you know, ask me for whatever they was paying you. You know, you know it was gonna come the next morning for sure with no ifs and buts, you know, rainstorm, snow. It don't matter how it is. No, that's, that was a show it's, by it's myself. Gonna... That was a performance. That was a performance by Rich the Kid only. He's the only person that was on the bill. So how that person even ended up at this event? Yeah, I don't know. Person, how, did, you know, how, how this picture? How this picture even came across? Like, as a nigga pulled out the camera, you ain't just feel. Let me stand up and and get the fuck on. Like, you know, I ain't got no problem with dude. You know. But you ain't know you ain't feel like let me stand up and get the fuck on. It's all good. It's all good. You know this a this a positive station. You hear me? Even though I'm talking a little aggressive and I'm I'm gonna play a lot of music to su support certain people. Fuck it. I love you. You my brother. And shit, it's all family, no friends. I got your back to the end. Call me when it get gangsta. Oh, you already know. You know that. Yeah. Anything else you want to um, bless the people with? Shit, I want to know what you been on. What you been up to? The What's up with the wedding? See you at the wedding. <laughs> the wedding in January at 7. Nigga, I saw I say I'm happy than the motherfucker. I've been yeah, waiting man, for this I my whole life. Yeah, hey, like I said, I've been waiting for this my whole life. And I'm finally at this moment. I'm, I'm excited to see you, your wife, and your kids. The Miss Tour. You hear me? You know how this shit go. If, yes. I said, if I said it, if I said if I said the night right, it's, no. oh, excuse me, nigga. Yes, sir. Can't wait for that one. For sure, for sure. Um, other than that, man, I ain't been recording no music. What right? for? What? I don't know. I ain't really big on it right now. I don't really give a fuck. It's all sitting in my heart and my mind. You know, I ain't got to write another line. So when it is time, shit, I'm gonna go. Yeah. Well, shit, you know, you know how we rock, man. Shit, shit. Shit, shit. You know how we rock. Check this out, man. Call me on the regular phone. Um, Say Jason sent um, sent a uh, rich XO number. I'm finna play some more music. You call me on the regular phone. We gonna chop it up out of the rest of these songs playing. All right, so man. Right.